Hey, welcome back to the Stebbins Garage YouTube channel. We're really excited today. We have a package from our friends at Holly Performance. I have Mason in here. We're actually doing a mod to his car this time. It's not blown up or we're not fixing something. Our friends at Holly sent us a package with a Hooker Blackheart catback exhaust. It fits the 2013 to 2018 Focus ST. Mason's is a 2015. His already has aftermarket exhaust. We're gonna swap that out for this. This is a stainless cat back and it has carbon fiber tips. So we're super excited. Stay tuned. Oh, you know what we gotta look at first. That's the tip section right there. Pull that off of there. All right, I gotta, I gotta see the tips. Oh, dude, <laughs> those are sweet. That is gonna look so good. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for you. Oh, that's gonna look good. <laughs> oh, that's gonna look really good. Yeah. So for reference, here's what we're working with. This is, uh, I think it's an MBRP exhaust. It's seen better days. The tips don't line up. They're filthy. They're kind of ugly. We washed Nason's car the other day, but it rained here, so sorry, it's filthy. Oh, they gave us some instructions. I already glanced through the instructions. Looks really straightforward, especially since we're gonna be up here on the lift. Guess we'll go ahead and set everything out and we're gonna put it up. I already kind of got it set up to go on the lift. We just need to lift it and then we can get under it. Uh, we just pulled it in and it's kind of hot, so we're gonna let it cool off. By the way, I have AC in here now. about got everything unboxed. I just wanted to show you this. This, look at those welds. This is, I guess, the intermediate pipe. There's not a whole lot to this system as far as pieces go. But everything looks really, really good. This is all 304 stainless. And then Nason, you saw him over here. We went ahead and ceramic coated the tips. That way they're protected. That's some beautiful dry carbon. And it looks like the inner tips are stainless also. So we're about ready to go ahead and put this together. Let's go ahead and get this car up in the air. All right, first thing I did, I didn't film this, but I just disconnected the ground from the battery. Uh, that's important when you're working on the car, so nothing bad happens. So we laid out the exhaust on the ground. Uh, that's kind of the general way that it's gonna go. Show you what we're replacing. I don't know how long this exhaust has been on here. It definitely looks like it's gotten some use. So this hooker kit will pretty much go the same way. Um, if you have a stock exhaust, you'll have to cut your pipe where it goes over the axle to get the stock exhaust off. Because this is an aftermarket exhaust, we don't have to do that. So that'll simplify things for us. So we're gonna go ahead and set you up on a tripod 
and start taking stuff off. All right, so first I'm just lubricating these bolts, so hopefully they won't snap off while we're taking this off. Um, this comes off, then we'll be taking the brace here off, which is uh, some kind of Torx, and we'll just work our way back. It's really straightforward. I didn't break it. <laughs> that was way too easy. All right, so before I pull these out, I'm gonna grab my stand and we're gonna put that under there. That way it doesn't fall and kill me. Okay. Okay, those bolts are nasty. I'm gonna have to switch them out. All right. Next up, we need to pull this brace. Well, this has torques. This is a T40. I don't know if Ford changed it out at certain points, but this clamp here. If you have the stock exhaust, you'd be cutting your stock exhaust here. This is split here, so we're just gonna go ahead and take this clamp loose and remove the front section of the exhaust. That was loud. So we've been at this for a while, trying to get the MBRP exhaust off without tearing it up. And we cut it. It was a mess. It was all just stuck together. So here's where we are. We're ready for the new exhaust and I'm sure it'll be much easier to put on than taking the old stuff off. Uh, but seriously, if you have stock exhaust, just cut it. Just get a nice Sawzall blade and cut it off. Hanger stand. You know it would have made sense. What? If I'd have put the washer on. I have two uh, ratcheting wrenches in 17 for some reason. Huh. Go me. Click, click. Okay. Got that. Looks good. There we go. 
So I'm not gonna tighten that down just yet. That'll go basically just like that. It'll still be tucked up. Now we gotta put the over the axle tube on. All right, so now we just have to put our exhaust bracket back in. take this and we're gonna main up the other pipe. We've got the clamp on. It looks like it faces the outside driver's side of the car. So I'm gonna go grab that last pipe. You just had to kind of, you get, there's a little, piece in the way you got to kind of maneuver it. I went ahead and slipped this pipe out from this intermediate or the center pipe to this one. That way I can get that started in here. And then once I have that started, obviously I can get the other one where it needs to go. So. Um, could just be me not having something quite lined up right. All right, and then this has to go in some more. There we go. All right. So I'm not going to tighten any of the clamps until I've got everything on here. All right, and then we've got to put this in the exhaust hanger here. Okay. Our over the axle pipe is in. We have our clamps ready to go. All of this is back in. This is tight. I haven't tightened that one yet because we want to make sure everything's where it needs to go. So that's what you should look like once you get it in. Now we get to put the finishing piece, which we're both excited about. Carbon fiber tips. Pretty good. Yeah. Sure. It looks centered to me. Yeah, come here, like this. Let's see. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. step now which is to well we got to put the splash shield back in but we also need to wipe the shiny stuff because if we start it then our fingerprints will be stuck in it
I gotta say that was a super easy install. It took us five times as long to get the old exhaust off as it did to just put that on. That was amazing. That's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to Holly for sending us that. If you wanna get your own, there's a link in the description. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one.